Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Mad as a Goat. Now today, I'm fucking pissed off because I was reminded of something on the news that I forgot about and was able to suppress for many years. Now, in Australia, in the 90s, we had a guy in Melbourne, he was a premier. His name was Jeff Kennett. This guy was all about big business. That's all he cared about. Working families, fuck them. The sick, fuck them. If you were poor or sick, just fuck off. That was his attitude. He didn't give a shit about anyone. He just wanted to make that money. So what he did while Premier of Victoria, he closed down a bunch of hospitals, schools, and places for, you know, the mentally ill to go and get treatment. Right? And what did he replace them with? Hotels and fucking restaurants. Now, if you don't know much about Melbourne, Australia, I'll let you in on something. We have many restaurants and hotels. We do not need any more. We need more hospitals, schools, and places for the mentally ill so they can get treatment. So he closes these fucking places down. These things that are, they were more than needed. They were being utilized right up till the point where he just went, no, close them. And there's one example that really pisses me off. There used to be a hospital not far from my house called Panch. This had over 3,000 beds, right? Beds that are really needed for the sick. He closed it down and made a fucking hotel. We have thousands of hotels in Melbourne. We did not need another one. We didn't, we especially didn't need one that has 3,000 rooms. But he didn't give a shit. He didn't give a fuck. He was ruthless and he had aggression and he just went through and just closed them all down with no remorse. And oh, I can't believe that. That pisses me off. And you know what happened to all the mentally ill people when they were kicked out of their home? A lot of them ended up on the street. A lot of the people who are homeless in Melbourne aren't there because they lost their job. No. They were in a mental care facility. And then it got closed down. So now they're on the street. I mean, how fucked up is that? You have to have zero conscience to be able to do that. And some people may be able to say, well, he didn't actually see the outcome of it. You'd have to know that's what's going to happen. Like, a lot of people who are in, you know, these care facilities for the mentally ill usually don't have family or don't have family that are able to look after them. So where the fuck else were they supposed to go, you fucking asshole? So now when I walk to work, there's one lady that I see every morning, and she is obviously mentally ill. She walks around in her pyjamas crying and, you know, looking for a son that no one's ever heard of and she hugs people, and she's very inappropriate. And, you know, a lot of people avoid her and get scared of her and stuff like that, but I'm a compassionate person. I know in these videos I come across as a complete, you know, prick, and maybe I am a little bit, but with this lady, it's just fucking depressing to see her every morning. Yeah, I give her a hug and I talk to her for a little bit, just out of common courtesy for, you know, a fellow human being. And it just makes me so pissed off that if it wasn't for this fucking cunt, that she'd have somewhere to go. And someone would be able to look after her and give her the treatment that she so dearly needs. And then you see all these people in my area who are all sick and fucking coughing and dying and shit like that. They could have gone to Panch. Oh, but wait, that's a fucking hotel now. Oh my god. How are we supposed to have faith in politics when shit like that happens. And it's not just in Australia. This kind of shit happens all around the world. You know, you see things on the news or in documentaries like places like Detroit and you think to yourself, how the fuck did that happen? It's called politics. Yeah, there are some good politicians who try to do good, but they're outnumbered by all the fucking greedy cunts who are all about self-interest and filling their pockets with money. Well, I hope you're fucking pleased with yourself, okay? You're killing people. That's what you are doing. You're not lining your pockets with money. That is blood money, okay? That's tainted with the mentally ill and the dying. So I hope you're fucking pleased, Jeff Kennett, you fucking cunt. And if I see that prick at the football... Alright, if Carlton have a match and he's up in the box, I'm breaking in and I'm kicking that prick's ass. Because there's so many people out there who are now homeless and don't deserve that. And even though they're mentally ill and not fully in touch with reality, they're still a better person than you, you fucking prick. 
So, you know, before I fucking lose my mind and punch my camera and then be really upset that I can never make a rant again, I think I better just wrap it up here. So, look up Jeff Kennett. If you find him on Facebook or Twitter, please troll him. If you find out where he lives, give me the address. I want to take a shit on his front porch, ring the doorbell, wait for him to come out and smush his fucking face in it. No, you know what? He doesn't even deserve that. Let's just give his address to a serial killer and let them take care of it. Anyway, that was mad as a goat. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs>